Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare an ancient Roman recipe with salted fish and an arugula based sauce. We start with the ingredients. We need salted fish, dates, walnuts, a bit of honey, white wine vinegar, olive oil and spices, mustard seeds and black pepper. Then we need arugula and aromatic herbs, roux, mint and oregano. The author doesn't specify the amount or the ratio of herbs. We chose to enhance the arugula flavor. If you use a good amount of arugula, we suggest not to exceed with roux. They both have a slightly bitter flavor, which can overpower the other ingredients. Indeed, if you don't have a roux, arugula can be a good substitute. First, we soak the salted fish in cold water. The aim is to reduce the saltiness of the fish. However, this is supposed to be a quite salty dish with an intense and aromatic flavor, meant to be eaten in small quantity. Salted fish was often served as an appetizer, along with other dishes such as eggs, olives and vegetables. You find a few recipes in the description below. Meanwhile, we grind in the mortar the black pepper. The original recipe is meant for salted grey mallet. We substitute it with salted anchovies. Salting the fish was the most common way of preserving it. The author of this recipe uses salted grey mallet and Pliny extensively writes about salted tuna. But all types of fish were salted. Fish was commonly preserved in the brine that forms when the fish is salted, then removed from the brine just when it was used. The brine of the fish, called muria in Latin, was used as a condiment in the same way as garum. But save for some kinds of muria, such as the one prepared with tuna mentioned by Marshall, it looks to be less expensive than garum. Ausonius in the 3rd century writes that it was a condiment used by common people. Modern day colatura di alici is a kind of muria. We had the walnuts and one date. The author uses a type of nut called nux calva in Latin. This variety of nut was mentioned also by other authors, such as Cato and Pliny. But it's hard identifying it with certainty. We are quite sure that Nux Calva is not a variety of pine nut, because in some recipes the author uses just one of these nuts. We suppose it can be a variety of walnut, but you can substitute it also with hazelnuts or almonds, both used by the author of this recipe in his cookbook. Ground nuts are used frequently in this cookbook to thicken the sauces, whereas we find them inserted all in some meatballs and sausages. We miss the fresh herbs and the arugula. The author of this recipe often uses salted fish in his cookbook, however, fresh fish is far more frequent. In the Edict of Prices issued in 301 by the Emperor Diocletianus, we find that the maximum price imposed for salted fish was 6 denarii for 1 pound, while a first quality salt water fish costed 24 denarii and a second quality fresh water fish, the cheapest fresh fish, costed 8 denarii. 
salted fish was also less expensive than meat. In the edict, the cheapest meat costed 8 denarii. To put these prices into perspective, we can compare the 6 denarii of 1 pound of salted fish, about 330 grams, with the prices of cereals. One modus of wheat, a bit less than 9 liters, costed 100 denarii, and one modus of barley, 60 denarii. Then we pound the fresh herbs and the arugula in the mortar. In this case, arugula is used as an aromatic herb. We rarely find arugula in this cookbook. Sometimes the author uses the seeds in the same way as they will be used during the Middle Ages in which arugula seeds are frequently used to substitute mustard seeds. We prepared a few months ago a roast with arugula seed sauce. You find the link in the description below. Now we prepare a simple mustard with mustard seeds, honey, white wine vinegar and olive oil. We find the recipes for mustard not in this cookbook, but in the agronomy treatises. Indeed, the mustard was prepared in the villa, the Asher Roman farms. Asher Roman cooks could buy several types of mustard sauces. We are using a recipe of sweet mustard written by Palladius in the 3rd century. A few months ago, we made a video about ancient Roman mustard, with also two recipes from the agronomy book of Columella. You find the link in the description below. This recipe does not specify which kind of mustard to use. If you prefer, you can choose one of the two versions of Columella's mustard. We add the mustard, a bit of honey, vinegar and olive oil. If you use another type of mustard without honey, we suggest adding a bit more honey to balance the acidity of the vinegar. We suggest to taste the sauce, to check if it is well balanced and, if necessary, add the flavors that are missing – spicy, sweet, sour or salty. In this case, the sauce needs to be balanced, but a little spicy. Now we briefly simmer the fish. The cooking time changes depending on the size of the fish. For small fishes such as anchovies, 30 seconds or even less will be enough. If you cook the salted fish for too long, it quickly begins to dissolve in the water. We serve the fish coated with the sauce. We suggest eating a little quantity of this dish, paired with hard-boiled eggs, olives and bread. In the description below, you find a grape must bread and a poppy seed bread perfect for this starter. This spicy and aromatic starter is the perfect way to begin your ancient Roman meal, with a combination of flavors well balanced and intense. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, or you're just looking for unusual and delicious recipes, please subscribe our channel.